Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another early morning here on the island. What I have planned for today is we're currently making our way back over to Carnivore Island. I want to try to grab that Argentavis at level 140 that we found in the last video, get him teamed up, head back to base, and then I want to get stuff made for a tree platform. I want to try to get our sap taps kind of going. We're going to be needing those a lot in the future, so it's kind of good to have that kind of running while we're doing other things. And then finally, I want to head back into the artifact of the Hunter Cave and try to grab one of those dung beetles. Definitely will be useful for our garden back at base. So that's kind of the plan for today. Not too sure how much we'll get done or in what order, but that's the plan. Now the tree platforms are not cheap, man. Holy crap, are they not cheap. I did loot some of the, well, just one, not some, one of the sap taps. So we're kind of good on that. We need to make three more if we can. We'll try to get as much done as we can today. But luckily we've got our raft over here. So once we get the Argentavis, I came up here on the cat instead of the bird. That way, whenever we get him tamed up, we can just pick the cat up and fly back to base. I did loot a good saddle from one of the drops. It's an 85 Ascendant one, so it's not too bad, man. It'll definitely work out for keeping our Argentavis alive. Let's go ahead and jump back on here. Now, we did have some issues with some of the Alpha Sharks in the last video in the water. Would definitely like to avoid that issue if we can again. Kind of glad we left the raft and didn't destroy it. We might just kind of keep this guy up here. We'll have to see. The problem is, if we leave it over on this side of the island then we won't have access to it, so I might swim it back over here before we actually take the bird and the cat back to base. So with the dung beetles, I'm hoping that we don't have to have them in a cage. Some people left me comments and said that the Orvoraptors and the dung beetles are totally different than what they used to be. So once we get the dung beetle, we'll leave them at base, but then we'll have to get kind of set up an area in the little cave there and be able to have some walls up and leave that guy on roaming. Apparently they pick up all of the dino treats themselves now, which is a fantastic thing, so I don't have to keep picking them up myself and then putting them into his inventory. Hopefully he still makes the oil and stuff as a kind of like a little passive thing. Let's just leave the boat right over here. Only thing is the bird is on the other side of the island. We'll probably go this way just to avoid any aggro from other creatures. So yeah, man, super excited to see what the changes are with the dung beetle. I mean, it's already good for making fertilizer, but quality of life improvements is definitely a good thing for all the dinos. Hopefully they do some other passes on the other ones after they get kind of some of the bugs and stuff worked out with the early access. I think... I hear you. Oh, it's a scorpion. I thought it was a Trudon. I was gonna say, I don't remember Trudons being over here. It's a Rex! It's an Alpha Rex! That is terrible. Okay, well, tell you what, we're gonna go... Can we go the long way around? Look, Scorpion, dude, buddy! You are the last thing I need to worry about right now? I don't want to aggro him. We will die for sure. Oh, there's a drop over here. I don't know if we can open the red ones yet. I think we're still too low level. That might be a white one, though. Hard to see the light beam with the sun coming through the, the bushes and stuff like that. I'll take that. Absorbent substrate. Black pearls. I like it. Electronics. We definitely need that. Rex saddle. And then a pleasy platform saddle. I don't think I need the platform saddle. We'll probably drop it off. It's Ascendant. Oh, it's an Apprentice. Yes, yeah, drop it. Let's see if it's, a, if it's an Ascendant, we'll keep it for grinding. Wouldn't mind getting a grinder here soon. It's just super expensive. Try to avoid the Alpha Rex at all costs. I'm not too sure about the Saber, man. We might have to get some stuff going for breeding here before too long. Try to get some little ones. Like I said, I want to use this guy for cave runs. The problem is he is super, super squishy, especially with only having a Primitive Saddle. Now, I did do some runs off camera, try to get him leveled up a little bit. It's just very slow going. He does very low damage. I might end up turning back the damage numbers on here soon. Be able to see what stuff is. Yep, the scorpions, dude. It's always a scorpion, man. I did bring some cooked prime meat. I was hoping to be able to farm up raw prime meat, which kind of looks like we are for the Argentavis team. Make it go a little bit faster. Buddy, please do not take a nap. So it seems like the bleed effect from the Carno isn't as bad as it used to be. So that's kind of a good thing. I was worried about that with the Thylas. How that's going to be whenever we get one of those tamed. Because the bleed effect is all over the place with those. Oh, that's a 135! That's a male! Oh, dude, wait, wait, wait. We got to tame this guy. We have to tame it! Let's do... this. Do a bola. We have a female. And that one is a male. Now, are we going to kill it for... Since we hit it before? Try to get some darts into it. If it'll drop and not die, we'll tame this plus the Argentavis. And not sure how I'm going to get them all back to base. Maybe we'll just take the raft back to base altogether. Have two of them over there. Thing that sucks about that is we have to go right by the swamp again. And dude, we had problems last time with 
The Capros and Sarko's following us? I mean, he got the leads, too, in the water, right? Alright, buddy, take a nap, man. He's about to break out of his bola. Yep, there he goes. Nice, dude. Nice. Oh, we, we killed it! That sucks, man. That was a 135. We said all those darts on him. Is what it is. What was that? Argent Davis. Let's see what level it is. 140 is the one that we're going for, but if we can find a higher level one, that's a 15. We'll definitely take it. Another cat, another cat. What level are you? 85, 85. Okay, let's kill it off. Look, man, look. There's a lot more stuff here than there was last time. I'm just saying. Yep, yep, Junior, please. Have other plans for today. We can use the raw prime meat from the Argentavis, though, for sure. Not sure how much we're going to need for the Argentavis, but every little bit helps. Especially since we have these stack mods. So there's a blue drop coming down. Yep, another cat, another cat. What level? <laughs> Super low, man. So we got quite a few birds over here to take care of. Luckily, there's no raptors around. I don't think, right? Just Sabretooth and Argentavis over here. I think we'll just stick to getting the Argentavis tamed up. Not worry about another cat, even if we find a good one. That's not him, luckily. It's almost dead. It's a level 20. 140, that's the one we're going for. Okay, cool. At least we know which one not to kill. Guys, I'm going to need the meat from this kill, please. I appreciate your donations. A lot of level 80 and 85. So don't forget, this is the island, so finding anything over level 100 is kind of... I wouldn't say rare, but it's hard to find, man. A lot of stuff, dude. A lot of stuff. Alright, leave the piranhas alone. That is our bird there. Can I actually hit it? Probably not. Let's double check. Yep, 140. He is coming down this way. There we go. Tagged him once. Let's drag him back over here. Just to get him away from the other birds. We got both. I didn't want both, dude! So, let's try to kill the other one with not killing ours. I mean, preferably, that's kind of how it works. Now that we have both, let's... Ah, oh, man. Maybe we should knock ours out. He's gonna run. You know what's gonna happen, right? It's, I mean, it's, it's it's regular arc. What we're gonna have happen... We're gonna get this guy almost knocked out. He's gonna run, and he's gonna go right for the Alpha Rex. Drop right in front of it. And then get killed off. It's gonna happen, dude. I know it, man. 100% that is what's gonna happen. This is where the net launchers come into play very, very well. Is for flying creatures, right? Get them netted, get them knocked out, then they're safe. Did that scorpion kill that bird? Nope, he's still there. Guys, man, guys, you guys are, guys are being a pain, dude. There we go. At least he healed himself up some. From that scorpion kill. There we go, there we go. Not sure if that affects their torpor or not. Hopefully not. Should be just a couple more darts and he should start running. Now, I'm not sure what's on that side of the island over there, if he runs that way. I know there was a Rex, but some of the birds... Oh, he's running. Please do not get in the water, Junior! Alright, let's kill this one off. See where that one's gonna go. Let him run for a second. It's coming back for us. Coming back for us. Okay, we tagged him again. I'm really wanting to get this other one out of the way, man. Holy crap, dude. It is causing so much problems. Yep, not sure which one I hit. <laughs> one of them got a dart to the face, though. Okay. How many darts is this guy gonna take, dude? There we go. Yep, 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 yep. Drag it back this way. I should reload some other ammo and just take out the other Argentavis. It's a Pella. Thought about taking one of those. I kind of like them, man. It's nice because they can land on the water, get their stamina back. Yep, yep. There we go, there we go. Nice clean shots on our Argentavis. Up, oh, he's running, he's running. Fantastic. Drop, buddy, drop. Did we hit him with that one? Maybe. Missed him that time. I was coming back. Did they change that with them? Because they used to run and keep running, right? They used to never stop. We're out of stamina! Wait, that one left too. Interesting. That's kind of weird. 
I think that one's ours right there. I don't want to drop them in the water. Oh, there we go, there we go. Drop on that side, man. That's kind of clean right there. Let's make these count. We don't have too many. He's over the water, too. Wish I could see his torpor. Ah, dude, I kind of miss the awesome spyglass. I always hated it, but definitely made it useful for finding the torpor and stuff. And the other one just totally left us alone, which is super weird. I can't hit him from here, man. My aim is way too bad. So he's coming for us. I nailed him with one more a second ago. He is coming this way. Let's try to drag him inland some. So if he goes to run again... Yep, I totally missed. Not sure how. I think I let him go too long without having aggro. <gasps> is he down? Please be in, not in the water. Okay, dude, he is right on the edge. That could not have been any closer, man. Holy crap, dude. So we got that Carno over there. That's a regular flavor, I hope. It is, but he is boosted by the Alpha Rex. Okay. Let's try to stay over here out of the way. I'm going to need Prime Meat. Let's give you this. Some nets, some of this. Going to need you to eat up, buddy. We for sure did not hit it too many times. I hate this, man. I hate this. Let's go to In Progress. 100%. So we're good there. I did not bring any narcotics. We should be fine. I wonder if we should actually try to take out the Alpha Rex over there. There's some sharks going nuts over there, dude. That poor Pella, man. Dude, just get up and fly. He might be out of stamina, too. It's a regular ones. The ocean is not safe. I really want to get into the ocean here soon, though. It's just, like I just said, though, <laughs> it's not safe. We need to get the scuba suit. Now, how far away from that are we? We're level 79. 81. So we're pretty close. I might be able to farm up off camera. I need to get some stuff kind of built up for our dino storage area. So that might boost us up to that level. If so, I'm not sure what creature we want to take into the water. I was kind of thinking a beaver or a frog, just because they're both kind of super fast. Beaver's kind of good for on land for getting wood and stuff, and then we can use them double as a water mount. Frog would be awesome. How much are you getting per bite, buddy? 18%. That's not too bad. So, he should eat all of the raw. Oh, he's had two pieces, though. He'll eat that plus some of that. We might actually be able to pick off that Carno. Let's reload our ammo with some regular stuff. We got a point. Let's put that into... Fortitude is up to 74. We're going to 100 on that. If I can pick off this Carno, drag him over here away from that Rex... That'll be a little bit more for us. Yep, I hear you. I hear you. I can use a chitin. Need to make up some more paste back at base. I did rob some beavers. Didn't get too much. But I'm hoping that we have enough to paste for doing the tree platform and stuff. Super expensive on that. I think we need around 600 for the platform. And then we need to make up some of the sap taps, which cost quite a bit as well. What do you have? I'll take the arrows. All the rest, not too worried about. Alright, man, I'm gonna sit here and let this guy team up, and then it's showing 0%. I think it's just kind of bugged. So he's actually 28%. Hmm, interesting. Alright, anyways, get this guy tamed up, and then we'll head on the raft, take him back to the other side of the island, and then just fly back to base. Very nice, very nice. Didn't take him too long. I did go up there, kill off a Rex, got a little bit more prime meat. Junior, how you feeling, buddy? Nice little nap there. Let's give you this. Give me back this. And you can keep that, man. This guy is a smithy, if you didn't know. Can craft pretty much everything that's in a smithy in his inventory. Kind of nice, man. Has a higher weight than most stuff, right? Let's go ahead and... Oh, I was getting ready to... Uh, <laughs> I was going to use a soul trap to pick this guy up. It's not a thing, man. Not a thing yet in this game mode. So, take a look at some stats real quick before we get going. We've got level 209. It teamed out to be. It is a me wait female. I saw the blue dude. It's a female. We've got 2774 on the health. Stamina is a thousand forty. Very nice, very nice. Weight is 680. 341 on the damage. Not too bad, man. Pretty decent stats for an Argentavis. Pick you up. We're gonna fly right over the Rex. Not gonna mess with him. Where's he even at? They get around so fast, dude. 
So I'm kind of curious with the new pathfinding and stuff. They're supposed to migrate some where they're at. So, say on the map you have a pack of Megatherium and stuff in one area. They should eventually move around the map to different areas. I'm not too sure how far they actually go. But kind of neat having the dinos move around instead of being in a static location. Kind of makes it to where you got to search for your teams a little bit more, right? Dude, you got some wild colors, man. Quite a few wrecks on the island now. I know, dude. Terrifying, man. The sounds are so nice with ASA. Wouldn't mind getting this drop and seeing what's in it. I do not want to fight the wrecks, though, is the thing. It's kind of weird. They're coming for the bird, too. That used to not be a thing. If you were in the air, you were somewhat safe. Somewhat safe. Notice I said not fully safe. Somewhat safe. Are you going for my cat? What level are you? Level 50. I don't know if we can take him out with the Argentavis. Not sure how much damage he does. It would be some super good levels, though. Makes me nervous being around the water. I don't want to get pushed into the water and then get dismounted. Definitely be a bad day for us. We'll try to kill this guy off, though, and grab our drop. See how many levels we get. Probably put most of our points on this guy just into carry weight. Now I was wanting to get a Quetzal for our... Yep, that's what I was worried about. That's what I was worried about! Yup, yup, yup! Do not destroy my raft, please! Now we got two of them! Not that! Get out the spyglass! I don't know. I don't know what level it is. We just need to kill both these off. Both level 50s. Okay. Hopefully the bird gets a kill and not the cat. I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point. I just want them both gone. One's almost dead, I think. Possibly. <gasps> so are we, though! Look, that's a lot of damage! Okay, one's down. One's down. I don't know if they were mate boosted or what. There we go. Both down. Holy crap, dude! Look, man, Carnivore Island is not safe. We almost lost the cats twice now. Almost lost the bird. Baby, how is your... Oh, you got the good saddle, too. Oh, you're fine, dude. You're fine, man. Eight levels on him. Not too bad. That is the alpha one. <laughs> we are we are most definitely not messing with him. So we've got Terror Bird Saddle. Oh, that's Iguanodon. We'll keep that one. I'll take this, that, that. 58 arrows. That is nuts, dude. I'm not really crazy about kite and armor. We'll leave that. Let's get off of this island before we lose any creatures today. Yep, hang tight there, buddy. Hang tight. Let's do... Passive. Stop following. Let's get you on the boat a little bit more. Junior, you've had a rough day, man. Past couple days, huh? Alright, I'm gonna drop the boat off right over here where we had it last time. And then pick up the cat with the Argentavis and fly back to base. I'll see you there. We'll go ahead and make up a tree platform if we can. I should have checked to see that before we started the video, but, I mean, it's the way it goes sometimes. If we can, we'll make one and head over to the Redwoods, drop one off on the edge of the Redwoods. We are not going deep into the Redwoods. See how it kind of looks over there? Then we'll go back and get some treats from our pig at base, venture into the artifact cave just to grab one of the dung beetles. All right, back at base, we'll drop Junior off over here first. Really need to get him healed up before we go to the Artifact Cave. Alright, buddy. Hang tight right there, man. Hang tight. You got some points. We're putting this all into... Wait. Almost at a thousand. That is not bad at all. Drop this stuff. A lot of junk, dude. A lot of junk. We'll keep... These. That should be good. Glad we got some of the electronics and stuff. Definitely help out. Do you have anything? You do. Let's put you up here. I started keeping this guy up over here. It's kind of nice, man. Works out. Whenever I get a feature off made, one of these years, we'll go ahead and set it probably right here. Just so that I can actually get it kind of full and stuff like that. Still no, uh, no change with these. Got fertilizer, producing stuff, no crops. Or, I mean, no texture. <laughs> the crops are actually there, just not showing. Are you done? Still smelting. Taking forever, dude. All right, so put our meat in here. First things first. Oh, we got a bunch of mushrooms. I didn't realize we had that many. That is fantastic. Got some soups as well. Getting quite a few of the soups from the drops. Just these two so far. Hmm, interesting. Oh yeah, I changed my storage around. So I got rid of the one box, right? And put six of these. Kind of helps to keep stuff sorted out a little bit. We've got like building stuff up here. There's the one sap tap that I looted. Then we've got saddles on this side. Speaking of saddles, we'll drop those off. 
We got some of the dino parts and stuff I'm keeping over here. Down here, we've got some of our armor parts and stuff. And then over here is going to be four weapons. I've got one of these, man. I want to shoot that off at night. That's just a flare gun. Put some spark powder in your inventory, and you can use it. Now, they look pretty cool over on ASA, or ASE. So I'm guessing ASA will look fantastic. How much do we have on the electronics? Just 25, that's it. These guys are going ham on those, those fish, man. Only thing that sucks is they eat through the fertilizer like crazy, dude. Each one of these had three in it. That one's down to half of one. That one's already used a whole one. It's kind of nice though, man. Haven't had any of the seagulls around? What is that? That's a beaver. Is there some more out here? Want to rob them if so. Might be down in the water? Sometimes they build their houses down there and you can't actually see them. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what level it was. 40, okay. I felt bad if it was like a high level one. So, let's check out the tree platform. I think I need to unlock it. Let's unlock this too. We need to make three more if we can. We need some wood. That is a ton of wood, dude. Not a problem. I should be able to go out and grab some real quick. We'll use this guy. But trying to do a lot of that actually while we're right here. How is this? Going good, okay. One more round and I have to feed the pig some more berries. That guy's eating berries like crazy. Feel sorry for him, man. I know his stomach hurts. <laughs> but we need to kind of keep that full until we get the dung beetle. If we can grab two of the dung beetles, we probably will. Now, I'm not sure with the new update with those if we need two or one. One used to work, like, barely. So we'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see if they're both tameable. I'm not sure if all the cave creatures are tameable or not. Sometimes they were, sometimes they weren't. I should look to see if their name had wild in it. If it says wild, you can tame them. If not, then we can't, and it's kind of a waste going down in there. So we are going to have to fight our way down into there to get back to where they're at. There's a 130 beaver. We might end up taming him. I have to make sure we don't drag him back to base because the plant species will kill him. Where is your house at, buddy? Might be inland some. It happens sometimes. Hmm. If he's still alive, is that a shark or not a shark, but a sarco? If that was a shark, that's a whole other issue. Oh, parasaur. If he's still alive, maybe next video will tame him. Like I said, I kind of want a water mount. The beaver would work out because I do need a lot of wooden stuff, especially with our base build that's coming up that I haven't talked about. Not sure if I want to do it here and just renovate this area or find a new location. I do have one spot that I've been looking at. I'm just not too sure if I want to build over there. Let's grab some of the wood. It's going to be super heavy. But yeah, I definitely want to do a base expansion. We didn't play with all the parts whenever we built this base. And I know there's a ton more different ways to do the building and stuff. With like turning the parts sideways, upside down, things like that. Alright, one of you. And then the sap taps. Metal ingots. Super expensive on those. Holy crap, dude, it's expensive. Well, oh, let's just grab all of it. I'm gonna throw it out. Might as well throw them all. Alright, let's do three more of these. And that'll get us sorted out. You can only put four on a tree at one time. Let's take you. And then we'll grab the other ones of these. Let's leave our darts. We don't need those anymore. Try to trim down on our weight and stuff. I think we're good. You know what we might do? Let's leave the long neck. Because I don't have too much ammo. We'll take this. We'll take our crossbow. We can use that in the cave a little bit easier. Let's reload it. Nice, man. Nice. Alright, I will see you over by the Redwoods. Hopefully we don't have too many problems with... The wildlife around, it's a its a thing, dude. It's a thing for sure. I am not looking forward to the thylas. I do want to see how the trees and the area is, though. So, it's kind of a kind of something I definitely want to go over to. Just not right yet, man. Maybe when we get a better team or a saddle for the saber, we'll kind of venture into that area. So, since how we are by the swamp, one thing we need to watch out for is the attack helicopter. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce the name. It's that new creature, right? It picks up everything from... Diplos to Rex and everything else Because if one of those get on us, there's no way we can outrun it for sure 
So this right here might be a good spot for our tree platform. Well, I mean, <clears throat> I say that. The redwoods are all surrounded by the swamp. I mean, unless we go to the far side. I think we'll be alright, man. This should be fine. There are thylas around. I think we're good. Give me... This and that. Let's do this. Get that out of the way. Oh, that's not a... Not a redwood tree. Interesting. Is that not a big tree? Maybe it's not considered in the redwoods? Did I build the right platform? Yeah, wood tree platform. Again, thyla check, thyla check. I think we're good. It is very thick in the redwoods now. There we go. Super up high. So I wonder if the clip points are the same as they used to be on these? I'm not sure if they actually added some. That would be fantastic if we can actually build right on top of this. Maybe we'll set up these tap taps real quick and grab some stuff. Just make a little foundation and check and see if we can... Or not a foundation, maybe just a wall. See if we're going to actually build on this thing now. Let's do this. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. We need this out of the way anyways. Only thing we're missing is some fiber. I forgot the redwoods, man. They give you a ton of resources. We can use a thatch bag at base for our compost bins for sure. Junior! You're like the never-ending tree. Can't wait for chainsaws. I think that's in Scorched Earth. We get those unlocked. Fantastic thing, man. Oh, it is so nice to have a chainsaw. All right, look, dude. Look, I am not sitting here all day beating on that thing. We need to go down and get some fiber. I know, I know. We just talked about this. It's not safe on the ground. It's not safe in the air. Before we hop off the bird. Yep, I hear you. Trudons. Say, before we hop off the bird, we need to make sure nothing is around that wants to eat us. All right. Is it safe-ish? It's never safe. Can't be safe-ish, though. If we lose the bird today, I am not going to be happy. I already had a problem getting that guy tamed up, you know? Yep, I hear you. Is that the Trudon? I think it is. <laughs> I think we got enough for a wall. I want to see if the walls will attach. That's the main thing. All right, so leave you here. Let's do a thatch wall. You have my stuff. So one of you, can I do a foundation too? Just to see how it works? Oh, we can. A little bit of testing, man. No clip points for the wall. You can on the outside. I don't think that was a thing on the vanilla one last time. It kind of works though. Then you can use this as your floor. And this should be able to, yep. You can still put these up here. Hmm, interesting. I wish that they would have added it so that the walls will go there and along the seam. Nowhere else in here can he put them. I mean, I guess an improvement is an improvement, right? It should clip in just perfect too. And you can put like a pillar in the middle. Have a nice, uh, nice border for it. All right, man. It is what it is. These should start producing. Hopefully before too long. Now, I know with some of the ones on ASE, you had to actually access them before they started pumping. It was kind of like a bug. It might have been the S plus ones. Let's go ahead and just do it here so we don't have to worry about it. Now, check back over time to see if we start accumulating it. I wouldn't mind putting out a couple of these platforms to get them. And you can only do four, even though you can put more than one platform on a tree. It's kind of weird how you can only do four of these sap taps. Anyways, let's go back to base. We'll grab some treats from Junior and then head into the artifact cave to grab us, hopefully... At least one dung beetle. Like I said, we can get two. Well, we can't do two. We can only carry one at a time. So we'll just, <laughs> we'll just grab one, man. One thing I am super, super glad they fixed with ASA is the respawning of resources. All of them are popping back up in a reasonable amount of time. So it's, it's very nice, man. At least you're not stuck without having some of your stuff because it never respawned before you logged off. And there's the Argentavis. Nice, nice. All right, so you had some stuff. Just that. Everything else is on me. Let's drop the building parts. We don't need them. Or the berries. We've got so many berries, dude. Alright, drop this in here. And these in here. Just keeping everything in there for right now. It kind of works out. Alright, so. 
Buddy, I'm gonna need some snacks from you. Not sure how many we're gonna take, just a bunch. I don't want to get in there and not have enough. A 19, that should be more than enough. We've got an hour and a half, plenty of time. Let's put this into your food. There we go, man, there we go, all right, so. You need to be healed up, where are you at? You. You need to be healed up. We're gonna use some cooked meats. It'll go a little bit faster. I got plenty of that inside as well. And I should take some with us too, just for healing him up in the cave. It's gonna suck getting in the first part of the cave, so that's an hour and a half. Hour and a half, doesn't matter. Same timer on it. Let's grab just a bunch. I think we have around 300. 244, that's good enough, man, that's good enough. We could, while well, we're gone, Put two stacks on here. I'm leaving this run constantly just for making up our charcoal and stuff. It's all the prime meat that I've gotten from hunting with the saber. All right, that'll work, man. That'll work, dude. I like it. Let's close the door. I do not want copies inside when we come back. All right, give me a minute. I'm going to heal this guy up with as much of this as I can. And then I will see you at the cave entrance. So I found out where the beavers were. Their house is literally right by my base. Did I pass the entrance? I think it's right here. So we'll go ahead and rob that whenever we get back. I mean, borrow with the intent to never return. That's what we call it. So, torch. There we go. Yep. A little bit of lag from loading in. So I need to come in here and grab all this crystal and stuff too. Bring the parasaur over. Maybe he'll fit in here. Not too sure. If anything, I'll leave him at the entrance and fill him up that way. Maybe just bring the Argentavis and leave him at the entrance. A lot more carry weight on him. I'm hoping there's not too many of the centipedes. The spiders aren't a big deal. We'll grab a bunch of chitin and meat from them to stock back up at base. But the centipedes are no joke, dude. I'm about to just take my armor off. Let's do that now. Let's do that now. Save on the repairs. It's not going to help out anyways. Let's keep that in our inventory in case the cat dies. Is it... Wait, is that... Has this always been here? What area is this? There's an explorer node up there, I think. A lot of snakes, not worried about them. This might be another part of the chamber. Yeah, so... I think what it is, is everything is kind of redone with the rocks and the foliage and stuff. And I'm just getting super turned around. Some people have comments and said that the cave is actually laid out the exact same as it was. So it's like it's new, but it's not, you know what I mean? Kind of like the rest of the map, too, which is fantastic, man. It's very, very nice because you somewhat know where to go, but things are different. There's a dung beetle there. Perfect. Are we okay? I mean, we're most definitely not okay. Yep, there's the explorer note I was looking for. Let's, ah, oh, let's try to grab it before we start killing this guy. Yep, yep. There we go. Nice, dude. Wait, get out of there. I don't care about the Capros on paper or in in game. Yep, yep. Kill all these guys off. I do not want problems while we're taming our dung beetle. Nice, dude. Nice. I see some more spiders down there. We're fine, though. We're fine. A little bit of points is always a good thing. So, I think that way's out. The Argentavis is still showing up there. It's, it's super bugged, dude. Let's turn off all... All taming. Guys, please. I just want the dung beetle. I'm not here for your artifact. You can keep it to today. Really should grab one while we're in here, but I mean it's fine, it's fine. Alright. Let's get this guy tamed up before everything starts respawning. We good? Junior's over here hiding, man. Alright, so all we gotta do, let's put this on our belt. Let's put our armor on, just in case. Let's put our level into 42. Let's grab some treats from this guy. We need to move this over. That's not too bad. Almost 50%. Not sure if the level matters. It might now with the changes on this. All that really affects is the carry weight on them. So that they can hold more dino treats. I don't see any more around. I don't want to go too far on foot. So this is the water area I was thinking about in the last video that we didn't find. Okay, I know where we're at. I know where we're at, man. So, kind of, somewhat, not really. A little bit, though. 
I don't see any more dung beetles. We might go up the other chamber. Oh, never mind. That's right. We can only do one at a time anyways because we don't have any soul traps or cryopods. Oh, you're hungry. There we go. One more and he will be tamed. Now we should be able to pick him up unless they changed it and then ride on the saber and get out of here. Kind of cool, man. I like that. Let's go ahead and put this down here. Not sure why we've got so many treats. We'll go ahead and fill up the compost bins, though, as we get back to base. Leave all that. And that, you got two levels. Let's do... Let's do damage. It'll help out for sure, dude. You alright? Sorry, I'm throwing all my trash on you. Wait. I don't want that. There we go, man. There we go. Nice, dude. Nice. Alright, pick you up. Buddy, we are roasting our dung beetle. <laughs> look, okay, that just... Look, I... I know. I know, I know, it's poor choice of words, but <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna leave it at that. Let's throw out this junk that we picked back up. You are right? We're, I think because we threw stuff out, we're holding them weird. There we go, man, there we go. Hop on you. It's, all right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of the cave, dude. We got our dung beetle, go back to base. Now, we'll try to put them on wandering and stuff. Maybe we'll make a small little cage. I'm not too sure. I did loot an actual cage, but I'm thinking about some railings. Hopefully, he can't get out with the railings. At the sea, man. I, I know we have to put him on wandering, I'm guessing, to get him to work. I like put him in the greenhouse, but our greenhouse is open, you know? And there's no tames in there for him to pick up. Oh, we got some loading lag. But there's no tames for him to pick up the treats from in the greenhouse, so... So I want to get our dino storage area kind of set up. That way I can have him in there. And then all of our tames. And as they leave treats, he can pick them up, make the fertilizer. Everybody will be nice and happy. Maybe we'll start doing that in the next video, trying to get that set up. It's not too much. Not a big build. I kind of have an idea a little bit. We good? Let's turn off our torch for sure. There we go, man. There we go. Poor little guy, man. His shell is getting, uh, <laughs> it's getting cooked. All right, let's get back to base. We're gonna rob the beavers while we're there, while they're kind of killed off, and then we'll uh, we'll see what we can do with our dung beetle. Yeah, you can see the little beaver house right there, man. That's why the uh, the guy was up on our deck there. Kind of weird how they path around that now instead of just getting stuck underneath. They path around and go up the stairs. I thought about removing my stairs by the dock. We probably could. Take a look and see. Let's turn you around. Put you in here proper. Oh, I totally forgot about the grill. We could use the grill for cooking our food. I don't know, just easier to do it in the fireplace right now. Gas is kind of a hard thing to get because we don't have very much oil. Now that I got the Argentavis, it shouldn't be too hard to go all the way up to the snow area and get quite a bit. So, let's put you there. Don't go anywhere. Wait, overweights. How did he get all these? Did that come from... The cat? I'm confused! Was that all the dino treats that were in the area? Is he... Is he wireless like our water? He picks everything up wirelessly? <laughs> that might be what it is. Because I bet there was a bunch over here from Junior eating... The berries. Are you full? You are. So that's what happened. He ate the berries, left treats, and the dung beetle... Wirelessly picked it up. So... It's a collection. Harvesting, options, tracking, pickup. Interesting. So he is overweight. He will overweight himself. So do you need to be on wandering? I mean, that kind of works. Let's, let's put him in here for the moment. Close the door. He used to have to be on wandering to produce stuff. I mean, he's overweight. He's not going to walk. Buddy, I know, we're, we're putting you in front of a lot of flames today, but that'll keep you warm, man. There are a lot of cold fronts that come through. So I'm not too sure. What else is different? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, yeah, let me show you something else, too. Speaking of stuff that is different and weird, so the greenhouse glass. I was saying how you don't get the 300% on these, but if you hold for more options, then you have to hold down H. To show more options. That should just be on by default. I don't know if I went over this before. But everything does get the 300% here. It's kind of weird how it's got to be over there on the side with holding H. I mean, it's literally just one more line of text. 
So it should be on by default. Anyways, we are good in here for all of our plants. So that's a thing. I don't know what we're going to do with the dung beetle. Let's... Let's try something. Let's do wait. Junior. Let me borrow this for a minute. Let's take these. Let's close this. No, not that. Close this. Let's throw this on the ground. He picked it up! Two, four, six, eight, ten. Well, we got two rows plus one. That is fantastic, man! I like it, dude! So he wirelessly picks them up. Now, does he still need to be on wandering? I mean, he can't really move anyways, but that used to be a thing. Kind of works. I can leave him in here by the fire. And he'll pick up everything in range. Now, what if what the range is for him picking stuff up? Spool time is five hours for these. Not sure how much of this he'll actually change over. Let's try the edge of the dock. Too far. We'll drop one on the foundations. And then we'll be able to see how far the range is that he'll pick up. I'm guessing it's not going to be too far, right? Nothing out here. So it's actually a pretty short range, it looks like. Which is fine. Not a big deal. Again, if you have him on wandering, he should kind of go around and pick him up anyways. Oh, right there. So that's going to be one, two, three... Four. Right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, so four foundation range from where he's at. That's not too bad. Hmm. Actually, pretty decent. A wireless, <laughs> a wireless dung beetle. Now, you can't put that in his inventory whenever he's overweight, of course. But he'll still pick him up there. Now, the question is how long is it going to take for changing that over to. The actual uh, fertilizer and stuff. Hmm. I don't know. I like it though, man. I like it. Ah, dude. Well, fantastic day. We got us an Argentavis. That'll help out for grabbing resources and things like that. And then for picking up small creatures as we tame them, bring them back to base. We've got the sap tap set up in the redwoods. We did not get thylid, which is a very, very good thing. Hopefully, those will start producing and get us the sap that we need for making some of our our foods and stuff. And then we've got the dung beetle. Game changer, dude. I like how it's got the auto pickup feature, and then we can kind of leave him a base there. So far, with our base being small, he's pretty much in range of all of our creatures, so we should go ahead and pick him up, convert everything over to fertilizer. I'll probably go in off camera, grab a second one just so that we can make it a lot faster. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.